G'day my friends, how are you? So I've got up to step seven now on this. So all this is constructed here. I've got all this together. Now we've got the only um, corrections you need to make in the instructions are on this one here, step two. So you've just got to change that number to 25, that number to 24. And then you go down here, you change that number, so that should be 18. And that number should be 17. That's the only um, mistakes that have been made so far up to stage six in the instruction so far. So that's been pretty good. That's been pretty good. So next we've got to get into making the, the body here. So I'll show you what's going on. So here we've got the bottom of the tail. And I really like making this up because it's, I'm learning stuff. I, I really like how it feeds into that. So that's on the side. That's that's for the right way up. So those that's on the, it's the side. That's the right way up. That gets fed through there, and it's got this little sort of thing that catches the ammunition, and it spits it out the bottom there. With these ones, this just feeds it in straight in and spits it straight out the bottom. And that got me thinking, I never really thought about that. I was just wondering, did any of the troops get hit on the head with um, 20 millimeter ammunition casings when they're in the trenches on the front lines? You know, by these things flying over, shooting shit up. That would be unfortunate. Just all of a sudden you're just, you know, sitting there and then just some piece of metal comes and hits you in the head. Now, odd. Also, I got the cockpit built. This looks really cool, and it's only, I've only got the base coat on it so far, so it's hard to see, I suppose. But you've got some nice little photo etch seat belts. Um, you've got these little photo etch things for your feet control, your rudders, but you won't see them because it's got this part and this part covers it, so this part goes over the top of it, over the top of that. Like that, you won't even see them. But yeah, it's it's built really well, comes up really nice, and the molding is really good. So I'll get stuck into detailing that up now. But you know, I've been looking at the Fokker Wolf interiors, and it looks like they've played off light and dark grey. So this was sort of dark grey, and then it had the sides as a lighter grey. This was dark grey generally, and the control panel above it was all lighter grey so I'm just going to go with that here we've got the engine coming along so I'm starting to paint it up now I'm oh, sorry let's get it down hold so you can start to see it better now that I'm starting to detail it up see where all the pipes come out so I just hand painted the rust onto the exhaust pipes which wasn't easy you know getting in under there and all that kind of stuff but yeah just spent a bit of time doing it and got it done and then we've got some coloring going on the top not much not over the top you won't really see it anyway because it's going to sit like that this is the um so how how's it going to sit so that's the correct way up and that's what you'll see at the front so the propeller sticks into that hole there See, that's the top so you got two exhaust at the side one at the side one at the side and another one at the bottom so that's how it's going it's really cool to build no issues with the fit the only problems i've had are those small little corrections i showed you in the instructions all right my friends i will keep going keep building it up and i'll update you again very soon all right see ya bye